So now we have our leaves and we want to export them to uh, an OBG file uh, to put them in 3ds Max and we want to adjust the pivot on each leaves, center them and re-export them. Uh, first step is to export the leaves. So what I'm going to do is uh, just right click on the node, you just select a node, right click and if you hit uh, save, you can select geometry and then you can select where you want to save it. If you hit this little button here, you say, okay, I want to save here in, I created a folder called source meshes and I'm going to say, I'm going to call this Houdini leaves dot OBJ. Accept, accept, then, okay, should be good. And if I go now into 3ds Max, I'm going to do this into 3ds Max, but honestly, you can use uh, any software you want. I'm going to Houdini leaves, ball, and there I have all my leaves. Okay, first thing, I don't think we are going to, in, to, to use all of them. It's way too much variation for what we need. Let's convert this to double poly. I'm going to go pretty fast on this part because it's, honestly, you could do it in Unini, but I don't want to because it would be a bit too complex for this tutorial for nothing. So let's do it quickly in 3ds Max. I'm going to maybe take this one, this one, and you know what? Yeah, this one, and delete the other one. Uh, let's detach everything. Detach two elements. We're going to do this for all of them. That way we can center them and put the right pivot. Select all of them, affect pivot, center it, convert back, uh, reset X form, and let's put everything to the origin. I'm going to work like this. Uh, let's let's go one by one. Let's uh, put the pivot at the right place. For those kind of stuff, what we want is uh, having the, the pivot, uh, let's say, somewhere around here, you know, just at the tip of the, of the leaf. I guess for IV, if we go back to our, our reference, yeah, yeah, it looks like this. You can have a bit of the, you know, the tip of the leaf, so somewhere between here and here. And uh, I really don't need uh, the base to be, you know, that long. So let's just delete this. Or let's do something even dirtier. Something like this. Perfect. Don't need more. Let's center it. Perfect. Let's hide it. Let's go for a new one. And I'm going to do this one and then I'm going to cut the video because I don't think you want to watch me uh, doing this for all the leaves. Uh, for this one, I'm just going to rotate it. So is it uh, you know a bit more straight? And uh, same thing, I'm going to... I'm not really careful with, you know, with the, the UVs or anything. I just want to, to reduce those huge, uh, those huge base of the leaves. Let's go something like this. I don't care if it's not perfect or anything. It's honestly the the quantity of the leaf will be you know so high that you won't see the small details like this. And uh, let's put the pivot here. Let's reset this form once again. And uh, yeah, pretty good. And uh, let me pause the video and come back when I've done all of. Okay, I just finished doing all the leaves. So I have about five leaves. Let's make sure they all at zero zero zero. Reset text form it. And one thing I just want to make sure before exporting is that they are facing the right direction. Uh, the the uh, 3ds Max is Z up and uh, Houdini is Y up, so I want the leaves to face to have the you know the they're up facing the Z axis, so this one, and I want the forward axis to be the the Y. So let's just move them like this uh, and recenter them once again. Reset X from everything and should be good. So let's export them now. So I'm going to export them to the right folder. I'm going to export them to FBX. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's export them to OBJ. It's going to be easier. So leaf01. And I'm going to do this for all the leaves. So uh, I think I'm going to record it, but just put it on fast forward. So that way you don't have to, to suffer uh, me going through all of them. So 
So that was the last one. Let's go back to Houdini now, import them. So I'm going to stay in the IV tool and I'm going to put down a file. Let's go, just to, just to see if it works. Uh, let's take the first one, IV, and it's pretty good. Let's just check all of them. Okay, it works. One thing when you are going to load them, uh, we are going to load them uh, in a later video, but I'm just going to show you. You have to be careful if uh, you, you name them a bit like me, you know, like leaf 01, 02, 03, etc. If uh, you don't have this checkbox unchecked, it will try to, um, to read the file name according to the, the timeline. So like this, you know, and if you go above a certain number, it will just cause an error. So be careful when you load them and check this. And uh, yeah, but for now, we don't need that. We are going to load them a bit later. Uh, and the next section is going to focus on creating the branches.